Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I am an affiliate. There are links below this video for you to click on. Just click the little show more button. It might say more or show more here in this lower corner. And you can go ahead and click on those links and order any of the products that I show you in this video. I do receive a small commission because I am an affiliate, but that's at no cost to you. And I sure do appreciate everyone um, helping me out and clicking on those links. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I also want to say hello to all of my new subscribers on YouTube and all of my new followers over on my Facebook page. The Facebook page is also linked below, uh, is what I use for advertising. So anything that I'm an affiliate with, I will put, if they offer a coupon or if they have a good deal or something like that, I will put it over on that Facebook page. So those are the only two things that I use the social media for any kind of advertising. I don't do any email advertising or anything like that. It's just this YouTube channel and the Facebook for any of the advertisements. So click on the link below there and just follow me on that page. And you know, when you're I don't know, scrolling through your phone or in the morning drinking coffee, just click on over there and see if I've posted anything new. So thanks a lot. I really do appreciate you guys. Things are growing. I saw that the other day. I was really kind of looking at it and um, it's really growing. So thank you. Well, uh, Spellbinders has graciously sent me the drummer mice. Aren't they adorable? This, these Mouse House collections are absolutely so cute, but this is called Drummer Mice, and we're going to make this adorable card with it. So much fun. I've also used these wonderful um, notched corner frames right here. You're going to want to pick these up. You're going to use these year-round. Uh, they're absolutely wonderful. Everything nests all the way down to this teeny, teeny one. I just love that. The hex were the, are the same way. They nest down to a really teeny, teeny. Um, but this is, was just perfect to frame that out for um, just, you know, to make a really nice card and do a little coloring with this design. So I used the outside three of the um, notched corner frames, the outside three. So the two on the outside of the card and then the smaller one for the inside. Uh, today I want to go ahead and use my Memory Keepers um, Press Advance, uh, the Precision Press Advance. I've showed this in another video, but it's really kind of important today because I need this part right here this part, this open part, for some of the ways that I'm going to stamp. And that was one of the reasons why that I bought this product. So, um, the Mouse House stamp is red rubber, so let's go ahead and remove this pad. Okay, and then there's a grid here. I'm going to put down a little bit of um, paper. Go ahead and get that. I had a lot of ink on that other paper, right? And let's go ahead and start with the inside of the card. Remember, it's the smallest one of those notched frames. And I want to put my little mouse over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn this, okay? This is what I just loved working with this today, this morning, actually. I'm going to put this up in the corner, put my magnets, and then I'm going to bring in my stamp. And see where I don't have anything impinging on me on this side at all, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put, place that where I want it. And I just really want to see its little cute little face there. I don't want to get any of this guy in there. I want to see its cute little face looking back at that drum. Then I always put my We Are uh, Precision Press Advance, that little logo right there. I put it down in this uh, lower left corner. Now, I am left-handed, okay? So you might be turning things another way. I do this this way because I'm left-handed. So you might have it another way, but get to the same side of this piece of paper. Now I'm going to flip that over. Just going to use a little black ink. And I'm going to go ahead, line it up, and press. That is perfect. I don't have a little bit of ink right there. I guess I missed it on my stamp. So let me go ahead and re-ink that. Remember, we're in an area here where we have it, um, you know, it's a positioning device. So we're... We go right back into the same area. Perfect. Look, it got his little belly. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's remove this. 
and we'll let that dry nicely, right, because I'm going to color on it in a little bit. And let's go ahead, and while we're at it, let's just go ahead and do our envelope. Now, it might just take me a second here to move this around in the area that I want, and I want to clean my stamp over here because I don't want to get it on anything that I'm not stamping at the moment. So I'm just going to take my cloth. Little stamp cleaner there. Good. Now, what I like to do also when I clean a stamp, okay, sometimes you do have a little residual, you know, um, ink. So I'm just going to take it right here and I'm just going to press it. You might have a little residual, uh, see, right there, a little bit. So at least I got that off, okay? And I just use a piece of scrap paper for that. All right, now let's get our envelope. And I want to do my flap, okay? So once again, this part, I need that out of the way. I'm going to turn this, okay? And I'm going to place this right here. Let's put this up like that, okay? See, and it doesn't matter right there. So yeah, even I'm stamping right here on my, you know, on the device, but I have room because this is hanging off. And I'm going to link this through um, Amazon because it actually was a better price on Amazon, at least the last I checked. So I'm going to, that's where I got it from because it was a really good price there. So I'm going to put that right there. Again, my little logo there. And I'm going to pick that up. And let's go ahead now and ink every bit of this. Just like that. And again, if it doesn't, you know, stamp all the way the first time, we're on a positioning device, so we could go right, right back to it. I thought this was just so much fun, but I really had to figure out, oh, look how cute. That came out perfect. That came out wonderfully. All right. Now, I had to think like three and four times about where to position this so that it would be off of the... See, now what I want to do is I want to put something in this area. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to go here. Right? Yeah. Or no, I want this side, this side right here. So I'm going to turn it. So sorry, guys. Yeah. This side. It's like you just got to think about it a little bit. And where you want to stamp, you want it to be open. But I really felt like um, this device was allowing me to do this absolutely wonderful. I'm just cleaning this with some spray and a cloth. Oh, we're going to have to take it apart, right? You know what I'm thinking, right? i got to stamp this to get the residual anything off of it. Oh, how funny. There we go. Not too much of anything. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, let's put that right back in there. Now, for this, I'm just, I want that big guy right there, okay? So I'm going to just bring him over. Wait, how did I do that? Ah, you're going to watch me figure this out again. Hold on. Okay, what you have to do, I cleaned the stamp. Don't leave it on the positioner. You have to put this where you want it. That's what we've been doing. I just lost my place, didn't I? Okay, so there, just put it where you need it. And then attach it to the positioner. Right there. Okay, good. Sorry, guys. Right there. Flip it over, and remember, you see, that's off. This is open. Put your stamp on your project first. I'm going to leave that in. 
I'm sitting here thinking, should I edit it? And I'm like, no, uh-uh. There we go. Yay. All cute. The, what a sweet little design, right? And I know it's just the envelope, but it really does come out absolutely adorable. Something special when you send your projects. Okay. Now I want to take my... This larger piece, okay, this is the second largest, and I don't need this now. And I'm going to just place this up here and put my magnets. I've got to clean my stamp. Some people use alcohol. I happen to like a stamp cleaner. I'll link one, if I remember, I'll link one below for you if they have it. Um, if not, you can get uh, Tim Holtz at, um, I've seen it at Michael's. And so I, I do I do like a stamp cleaner. I'm going to just place this here and just get any of that residual off. There wasn't anything. We're good. Okay, now take it off of the positioner. That's hilarious. Really lost my place on that. Um, and I'm going to put it right here evening out the bottom and onto my little project here and I want to get all of this little sand right here because it's so cute then I'm going to put joy to the world and of course we have peace on earth too you know that came with this set so two really nice sayings and you can mix and match these sayings. You know that, guys, on anything, you know, any card that you have. That would be wonderful. I love the font on it, the script on it. Uh, that would be wonderful embossed in white. Love it. Oh. Right there. Okay. Boom. Now. See, now I can just get the entire front and saying and everything which is great which this can be done like this in the misty too i just needed the open part of it to get to the other parts of you know some of the project so without bending it or folding or anything like that stamp this up nicely or ink it up i should say see how we get I do have a chuck let me use that very nice let's see I see that there's ink there there's no ink there it doesn't mean that I need to reapply it means that I need more pressure right there so always check that when you're doing something like this. Okay, now I definitely need a little bit more ink in the back part of my little guy there. I'll just kind of stamp over that. That's where the drum is too, isn't it? I see a line. I don't want that line. Even, even your ink out. Keep looking. There we go. I think we're going to be good. Yes. I think, I swear, I think he's supposed to have fur right in there. Yeah, I know he is. There we go came right in perfect just had to add a little bit more pressure all right okay so now let me put this back together and keep these things away from each other you can't even put them in the same hand like they will bite you you know that from other magnets right okay so there's that now <clears throat> what I want to do take my stuff off of here so that I'll know what to clean when we're done, right? And put that together. Wonderful. Okay, now 
What we want to do now is take our mice and color a little bit. I'm just coloring the outside and the inside one. I'm not coloring the envelope. If you color the envelope, go ahead and put a piece of paper um, behind on the inside, okay? Put a piece of paper in here because it will transfer through, but if you have a piece of cardstock in there, it won't go to the back, all right? So just put that in there for um, a little protection, but I'm not going to. I like it on black and white, but I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to use some alcohol markers and make these guys come to life, and then we'll put our card together. Okay, I've got my coloring completed. Look how sweet they came out. I colored their little faces pink and just made a cute little drum. I did the tops of these drums in brown. These are older, so they've been using their drums longer, and his is brand new because he's little. So that was my thinking. I don't know. Very, very cute, but needs a little background, right? So we're going to do a little blending of ink over top of my coloring. I was impressed. I didn't know if I, I'm using my Pink Fresh Studio. These are, uh, what, half inch? Yeah, little brushes. And I wasn't sure uh, how this was going to come out coming over the ink. But it actually came out great. So I'm just going to Go ahead and take off a little bit of ink at a time. As you see, I'm tapping off that big, huge glob of ink. But if this gets a little blotchy, it's okay because it's dirt. Now, I'm again, I'm left-handed, so I kind of, I like, when I blend, I like to go sideways so I could see it. I don't know if you guys do it like that, if you're right-handed from the other side or what. But this, you hold your paper however is good for you um, to get... You know the the results that you need now watch I'm coming over a little bit where I've colored and it's just looking great so it'll color all in there it'll color and I'm using a very light brown as you can see and you know of course down here we'll add more because we have more white space but don't be afraid to come up into here with the the dirt, you know, like they're walking. Just so cute. Or marching, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I'm really happy the way that this came out. I colored my little mice a little brown, their little bodies, but you know they've got all of that dark in there, so look how cool that's coming. Isn't that fantastic? And you can still see my ink, which I'm really glad. The little pink feet, uh, you know, but the pink's up here, but hey, they're in the mud, right? I love it. We're going to make a little story for our little mice here. And then I found these little things in my drawer that looks like pebbles. So we're going to use those to enhance with just the bottom there when we get it on the card. All right, now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use a little blue, very light, kind of like a sky blue. Now what I'm going to do with this though, you're going to watch, I'm not, where it's white in here, I'm going to let it remain white so that it looks like it's just um, almost like a beautiful cloud, a beautiful blue sky. And then it's just kind of outlined around the mice. And I always do, you know, that little bit of tapping off to get the initial blob of paint I just kind of come in and around here. But that's going to stay really, really light.
ugh, that's coming out so nice. You can just get mesmerized, you know, <laughs> by ink blending. See, and I'm making sure, let me lift this up so that you guys can see. I'm making sure that this, like, around here stays as light as possible. And I think that I love that look. But I want my blue just a little bit darker up in here. Because the darker that I get it, like, almost like a curtain effect of it, uh, the more that it's going to, like, make the mice shine. I think we're done. What do you think? I like that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I'm just going to leave it just as is. Yes. Okay, so here's our front and the inside. And let's go ahead and put the inside. Now, you could ink blend around here if you wanted to. I, wa I wasn't going to do it. But you could. But I thought it looked great on the inside just like this. And you could put Peace on Earth on the inside, too, you know, and have both the sentiments uh, working for you on the inside and the outside of the card. That looks great. Look how cute. <laughs> These sweet little mice, right? Let's see. Now I have like a navy um, color of cardstock just to offset that light blue. Isn't that wonderful? And don't you love these notched frames? Corner notched frames, guys. I'm running out of glue again. Let's see if we can make it. Can I make it? There we go. Corner notched frames. And if you love to make shaker cards, which that's something I'm not very good at, okay, which is why you don't see me do them too often. Um, but if you love shaker cards, this is a great size. There we go. Now, I loved using like a yellow kind of a... Um, mustardy background there it picked up on the drum that I did of course whatever colors that you do you you know just coordinate however you want to the outside one of the notched frames fits an A2 perfectly okay A2 size perfectly that that outside one let me get some new glue here that will never make it all the way around There we go. And now this, see this, I'll just tap, tap, and go here, make sure it's sideways, up and down, tap, tap, you are good to go, right? Because it fits perfectly on the outside of an A2 card. And here is our beautiful card. I just love this. And let's see, I've got my little embellishments here. They look like rocks. I thought that they would look fantastic down in here. Instead of like um, rhinestones or sequins or anything like that, I was looking to use up things in my drawer, actually. So you use whatever that you want. Or you could do nothing. You could even make black splatters if you wanted to. You know, just making it look like pebbles. That's all. So I'm not using the bluish color. That's too beachy. Whoop. So I'm just going to kind of zigzag these guys up and down. And all over. I don't really want a pattern at all. Just kind of around sprinkling. The yellow ones are that, that these are the brown is almost turning them a color. Isn't that cool? So I'm just making pebbles. 
And like I say, I'm just using up things in my stash. Right there. All right, here we are. Oh, wonderful. I'm so happy. Look at this night. I love the envelope. Don't you guys love what we did there? That's so funny. I kind of got lost, but that's okay. You got you got to think. You got to think and figure it out, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. Good to see you this morning. It is, what is today? Wednesday morning when I'm uh, taping this. Again, if you would like to order any of this product, this is active at this uh, right now at, at scrapbook.com, and I believe it's on sale. So the links are below. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.